stand up. Stand up for the poor. Stand up for the oppressed. Stand up for righteousness. From the standing up is your scene. When you stand up, you get shot at. When you stand up, some people don't like you. If you shine the light on things that are dark, and you bring attention to a crowd of people, maybe even a church, where that attention is not wanted. But as Christians, we're called to stand up. We're called to highlight things that are wrong. We're called to show righteousness in a world of incredible unrighteousness. We're called to stand up against dictatorships. We're called to stand up against leaders of all shapes and sizes. We're even called to stand up against wrongdoings in the church. Yeshua was someone who never kept quiet when something needed to be said. He's our example, but not just him. People like Martin Luther King stood up. He was attacked because he stood up. But he still stood up. And he kept on standing up. We're called to stand up. But we also need to realise that our life isn't our life anymore. When we gave our lives to God, our lives belong to God. The responsibility for keeping us safe is in his hands. Not down to us. It's in his hands. So if we stand up and we get attacked, it's up to God to defend us. It's up to God to protect us. It's not something that we should be worried about. And if it means that people will go against us, were those people really our friends? Were those the sort of people that we should really want to be around? In the UK, we have the Tory party. The Tory party has attacked the poor for what the rich did. The Tories traditionally have no concern for the poor at all. But while they're doing this, what are the church doing? Who's standing up and saying, you're going against what this country should stand for? This is supposed to be a Christian country. In a Christian country, we're supposed to stand up for those who are unfortunate. We're supposed to stand up for those who find it difficult to fend for themselves, especially the disabled, the elderly, the poor. And these are the people that the Tories keep on attacking. These are the people that Jesus gave his life for, as well as the rich. He told us to help the poor. He told us to look after the people that he needed to look after. Also, one other point. The church in the UK is what set up the NHS service. The church set all that up. The church set the beginnings of that. They saw a need. They saw something that was unjust. They saw something that needed to be sorted. And at that point, they stood up. They said, we've got to do something. What are we, in today's society, going to stand up for? We stand up for when people say things that offend us directly. Why don't we stand up for things that, that offend God? In America, you've got Donald Trump. Donald Trump is certainly having a go at the poor. He's not actually intentionally having a go at the poor. He's intentionally trying to favour the rich. And he has no money to do that, so he's taking money away from the poor. He's taken benefits away from the poor so that he can give tax benefits to the rich. But unfortunately in America, you have political churches churches that are right-wing, 
course, they're never going to say anything against Trump because they're right wing. Now, that in itself is bang out of order. You cannot have a right wing Christianity because right wing is favoring corporations, favoring the rich. How can a Christian justify being right wing? They're standing up against things like abortion. But standing up against abortion and slagging off the women who are seeking abortions is not the solution. In those sort of circumstances, don't stand up against that. Offer alternatives. Most women that have abortions aren't doing it because they want to kill a child. They're doing it because they either can't afford to have a child, they're not in the right sort of circumstances to have a child. So therefore, you know, make adoption easier. You know, provide money, provide housing to these women. If that's what they need to have the child. If that's what they need not to have an abortion. Provide a solution instead of providing insults. Providing ins insults is not standing up against something. It's answering a wrong with a wrong. So don't do that. Stand up against actual wrongs. Stand up against the fact that certainly in America, politics is so crooked. It's amazing that America has the audacity to try and tell the rest of the world how to run their politics. You have a system where in the last election Hillary Clinton got the most votes. But because you have the Electoral College, which is an incredibly stupid system, Donald Trump won. Now, stand up against that. That's undemocratic. It's also wrong for these handful of people to have so much power. Stand up against it. Stand up against the fact that corporations can get away with murder because they give money to politicians. Stand up against that. Stand up against Trump. Stand up against the far left, the far right. Stand up against it. Don't just sit in your little churches thinking that being silent or even saying something in a sermon is what you're supposed to do. That is not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be shining light in darkness. There's a lot of darkness around. You walk around your local town, you'll see a lot of darkness. You're supposed to be shining light in that darkness. Light is painful. A lot of people shy away from light. So yes, you will probably be persecuted if you shine light. But read the Bible. We're supposed to be persecuted. That's Christianity. We're not supposed to be like the world. Jesus said many, many times in his Gospels, you are not of this world. You're not supposed to be at least. Christianity is not supposed to be in bed with the world. We're supposed to be marrying the Lord. We're supposed to be his bride. His bride is not supposed to be cheating on him and yet pretending that we love him. Don't confuse the passion for anger. There's no anger there. It's just passion. Well, God bless and more ones will follow. And be brave. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding. God bless.